Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie and let's get started. For DIY number one, I'm going to take one of these wood birdhouses from the Dollar Tree and some of the apple barrel paint and the nutmeg brown, give it a full paint job like this. And now I'm gonna go in with some of my puffy paint and I'm just going to outline the whole little house and I'm going to speed it up because this took a little while and just like that it's done so now I'm taking some of this faux snow that's the sparkly one from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to give it a nice good covering of it and I'm using this paper to help me move the little house and I also use a little perch piece of wood to help move it around as well a little perch post so here it is all nice and dry and now I decide I don't need the perch post, so I'm, I'm going to remove it with my pliers. And now I'm going to start to embellish. So I'm going to begin with these straws, and all I'm going to do is cut them to fit on the sides of the houses of the house. And I do all four sides. And I've done this before with other projects with my plastic Dollar Tree doll houses. I did this, and it came out really cute. And now I'm going to add a few of these really cute plastic peppermints that I get from Amazon and I'll link them in my description box. And so I'll add one on each side to become like the little windows of the house. And then I'm going to add three to the very top of the roof line just to give it that cute candy look. I'll do one large one on the back like a big window. And now I just need to add a couple of these candy cane stripe straws to the very back of the house. And then I'll add a couple of cute little gingerbread men and I'll add the hanger and I'll add a big bow in the front of the house and then I'll call this DIY complete and just look what an adorable ornament here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal and today is day 10 of our 12 days of Christmas ornaments open playlist and I'm hosting it with my sweet friend Melissa over at Melissa makes it DIY and each day for 12 days, we will be alternating and posting playlists on our channels with tons of inspiration full of beautiful Christmas ornament DIYs. So when you're done watching this video, please be sure to head on over to my description box and click the playlist, watch the videos there and get tons of inspiration. These ornaments you can use for decor, for gifts, and you can even embellish your gifts as well. Super fun. For day one number two, I'm taking one of these wooden mini trucks from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go in with some apple barrel paint in the color nutmeg brown, give it a full paint job. And now I'm going to remove the little man that's in there. I decided I didn't want him. So I'm going to touch it up with some more paint and now I'm going to go in with some of my puffy paint and give it a full icing look. And I'm speeding it up because again, this took a, quite a while. <laughs> I had to be careful not to get my hands on it. So here it is nice and dry. And here I had created a little wagon part with some craft sticks and I thought I was filming it, but I guess I didn't. So I'm just going to adhere them to my little truck and I also had frosted them with the puffy paint and added some of the snow as well, the faux snow. But here I'm just going to hot glue these onto the back of the truck. Gotta give it the wagon portion, of course. And look at this, so cute. So now I'm going to take some of these bigger peppermints that I have that I got from Amazon and I'm just going to use these for the wheels. So I'm just going to simply hot glue them on top of the existing wheels and look at that it rolls. <laughs> so now here I picked up this big bag of these mini gingerbread men from Hobby Lobby and these cute little gingerbread men are going to be riding in the back of the truck in the wagon portion. So they'll need to be standing up and I want them to be a little bit more substantial than just that little skewer. So I'm going to be cutting the straw that I have left and I'm just going to cut it in little pieces and get the bamboo skewer to fit inside as well. And I'll cut it to size and then hot glue it all up. That way it's nice and secure. And once it's nice and secure, then I'll put these little red men inside. But first I'm taking this cute little mini bottle brush tree, cutting off a portion and I'm going to hot glue it in the center of the wagon portion of this truck because I want the children to be in front and in the back. So here they are and I just have to hot glue everything in place. And I do add a big bow to the front and to the back of the truck just because. And look, this is how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal. 
For DIY number three, I'm going to use two of these wooden Christmas tree ornaments from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to go in with the apple row paint in the color Nutmeg Brown. And while that dries, I'm taking a few of these straws and I'm going to cut them to form a graduated pattern of a Christmas tree. And there's three different patterns of straws, so I also alternate these patterns just to give the trees a little bit more interest. And I do a set of two, like this. Now they're not looking like trees until I kind of spread them down, and now they look like trees. And now the next step is to take all these straws and adhere them to the Christmas tree ornament in this pattern until they look like this. And now I'm going to take two small wooden pieces, little round pieces that came off of these little trees. And I'm going to also take two red beads. And I'm just simply going to adhere these beads onto the little wood round pieces. And since the little round wood pieces have a little wire sticking out of them, then it's perfect. It adheres just perfectly. Now I have my Christmas tree stands ready, so I'm ready to adhere the tree to the stand. But now I decide to remove the little trunk that's on the tree. That, that way it'll fit a little bit better, a little bit more flush. So I'm just adding the hot glue and adhering the little stand onto my little trees. And I'll just wait for it to set. So you can even put these on a tabletop. Really cute. And my little Christmas trees need a star. So here I took this star from Dollar Tree it was a natural color and I painted it red with apple barrel paint and I'm just adhering them to the top of the tree like this. And now I'm going to take some of the red and white baker's twine and create my hanger. And I'm going to place the little knot of the hanger where the existing hole is on the Christmas tree, on the wooden Christmas tree portion. That way it kind of like just nestles inside. And I'll use my silicone spatula to press it in there because this glue is hot <laughs> hold it in place for a bit and now just remove it and look at that perfect so now I'm ready to add some a little more embellishments so I'm just gonna do a little bit of my puffy paint on the star just to give it a little frosted look like a cookie look and then all I have to do after that is just add a tiny little bow right below the star and then I'll call this DIY complete Look how cute! And here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number 4, I picked up a pack of these DIY ornament kits and these are the little felt gingerbread men. And they each come packed separately with its own little felt accessory pieces. But I'm only going to use what I need because I'll be doubling these little gingerbread felt pieces up to create stuffed gingerbread people. <laughs> little boy and a little girl. So I'm just going to add the eyes, the mouth, this and that until they look like this. Look how adorable. So now I'm just taking the top ones, flipping them over because there's print on the back and I'd rather have the print on the inside. And now I'm just going to go in with some hot glue and glue these all around together except for the very top of the head. I'll leave the top of the head open. That way we can add our filler. So I'll just glue these like this, go around. I use my Sherbonder detail tip hot glue gun because it's it's a little bit easier to hot glue these little pieces like this but I just go up until where I get around the eyes or the, where the ears would be I would stop at that point so I just continue to go up like this allow the glue to dry or get cool or set and now here where the ears go now they look like this and they have a holes up top and now I'm going to fill them up with some of these foam beads just because I had them already so why not use them so now I'm taking a piece of this paper that I had it's kind of like a poster board kind of thickness and I'm creating a quick little funnel hot gluing it in place and here I'm putting it in the head and I'm going to fill it up with these beads and this technique works pretty well but you have to use a bamboo skewer to push them in there so here's my little funnel all full and I'll just press them down until I get all the nooks and crannies inside as far, far down as I can. And also work on the arms as well. So here I'm just going to take some hot glue and close up the head. Just be careful because the beads, they just want to pop out. <laughs> but look, it came out so cute. So now it's time to do a little bit of embellishing. And I'll begin with the little girl. And of course, I'm going to create her a cute little bow out of this red and white gingham pattern ribbon. And of course, dovetail the ends and just place it on her head 
really cute look at this oh my goodness she's so cute and i'm going to secure the right tail of this bow that way it won't be flapping in her face but look how cute and now for the boy i'm going to take this extra piece of wide ribbon that i had just a remnant piece and i decided to create like a little cone hat look how cute <laughs> so i'm just going to go in with a little bit of hot glue and just adhere it closed and i'll just trim off the bottom that way it's nice and shaped and now i'll just adhere it to my little gingerbread boy on his head and i'm taking a little pom-pom that i happen to have and it happens to be red and white and also these little pieces off the kit these little felt pieces and i'm going to use them to go on the edge of his little hat to give it a cute little kind of like a little santa look but peppermint stripe but with pom-pom on the very top <laughs> that makes sense but look how cute and all i have to do now is add the hanger and that is it for this one super cute and here's how they look and a closer look at the final reveal for diy number five and my last diy of this video i'm just simply taking two of my little wooden gingerbread men two of these cute little peppermints and i'm just placing the peppermints on top of the little gingerbread men like they're carrying a nice big peppermint look how adorable so simple so cute and then i have these little hangers that i had made for another project but i didn't use them and they're just little beads that are strung with some of the baker's twine so i'm just simply going to adhere the hanger to the little man on the back like this and i use my silicone spatula to help adhere it and now i'll put a little bit of glue inside the bead the top bead that way it won't slip out so here's how they look and a closer look at the final reveal now i just want to show you a few little modifications that i made to one of my ornaments from day eight of this challenge this is the before and this is the after and now we're at the final reveal tell me what you guys think Well, I'd like to take a moment and thank Melissa from Melissa Makes It DIY for co-hosting this challenge with me. It's been a lot of fun. And please make sure to head on over to my description box and watch the playlist. The link is there. Just click it and enjoy the playlist. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And until my next video, stay healthy, safe, and strong. And have a great, great day. Bye-bye and Merry Christmas.